Welcome to Excel Business Math Series number 28. Hey, we're in the Workbook Business Math Chapter 3. You can go to my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download this workbook. Or if you're enrolled in the class, just go to our Chapter 3 website. Hey, here we're going to see how to solve for rate. We've been talking about rate times base equals part, the basic percent formula. We've seen how to solve for part and then base, and now it is rate's turn. All right, here's our problem. If Sue Rad Coolinator earned $27.25 in interest for the quarter and she had $1,362.50 invested for the quarter, what was the quarterly interest rate? Well, let's just list our variables. Looks like uh, the amount we earned, so and it's a quarterly amount, quarterly interest earned. Oops, Excel is talking a better turn that off, and that is 27 0.25. And what is that? That has to be the part, right? Because when you earn interest, they give you some percentage of whatever the base was, the original amount invested, right? The next thing is interest for the quarter. Oh, so the, the total amount um, invested for the quarter was this. So this is uh, invested invested for the quarter and that's going to be 1 comma 362 and 50 cents. Notice I um, put the comma right there which means format as you type. Hey, what's that? That's a fence. They put a fence up so I can't see it. That means that the uh, column is too narrow. So you have to come up here and double click and it best fits the column. And what's this? This is called the base. Remember our whole point to being careful about doing word problems, specifically name it, the amount, and then what is the general term. Specifically name it, what's the amount, uh, the general term. All right, uh, what are we missing here? We're missing the, oh, it asks for the quarterly interest rate. I'm just going to put uh, quarterly rate. Oh, and that's question mark. We don't know what that is, and that, of course, is the rate. Now, what is our goal? Find quarterly rate. And what is our formula we're going to use? Uh, R equals P divided by B. All right, so now we can set up and solve. Um, I'm just going to do our little trick. We're solving for this, so I'm going to say that right there, tab, and then I'm going to do our formula equals, and we have our part divided by our base, and that should give us our rate, 0 0.02. Hey, let's format this as a percent. Control 1, percent, and I'm going to leave it as 2. Now let's do check number 1 and check number 2. Check number 1, since we have our rate, we're going to try and figure out a part. So part equals base times rate. And let's go ahead. And we have our rate right here. That's the number we just calculated. And we're going to uh, do our formula and check it against uh, the original number, the source number. And we better get the other source number. Tw oh, we did. Look at that, 27, 25. All right, check number two. And this is going to be uh, base and base equals the part divided by the associated rate. So we'll say equals, oh yeah, um, this part right here, the original source number, divided by the thing we just calculated, and that better give us the other source number. Ding, 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 it does. By the way, I guess I left the formatting out here. Uh, we can control one, go to fill or patterns in earlier version. I don't see the green I want because usually I put the color green for formulas. I'm going to click more colors and the green I always choose is right there under standard. These are all calculated cells too so we could actually control one and do the same little more colors right there. And we could go to borders and say uh, inside which puts all the lines like that and outside. All right, now we can uh, write our answer in words. If Sue 
had 1,362.50 invested for the quarter. And she earned 27.25. I'm going to put a dollar sign there, 27.25. The quarterly rate was, and what was it? 2%. I'm just going to put 2% like that. So uh, if Sue had that much money invested for the quarter and she earned that much money, the quarterly rate was that. All right, let's go on to our second problem here. This will involve a few more steps. All right, let's read this problem. Barba's Antiquary says that of its 3,800 items in inventory, 3,344 are just plain junk, while the rest are antiques. What percent of the total inventory is antiques? All right. Um, well, our goal is to solve for this percent. The only trick here, and we'll figure it out along the way. If you can't figure it out right off the bat, what do you do? You just start listing the variables. So all items. So right here, we'll say all items. And that will be 3800. Zero, zero. And that's all of them, right? So that's the base. Then it says 3,344 are just plain junk. So I'm just going to type just plain junk here. And that will be 3344. And that is a part. I'm going to put part 1. Uh, what about antiques? Because that's our goal. We're going to have to find a percent, but f we don't even know how many antiques there are. Antiques. Well, we don't know that. So I'm going to put question mark, question mark, question mark. So we have, it looks like, maybe even two things to solve for here. So part two, we have to solve for that. And um, what is our goal? Actually, watch this. I'm going to insert right here, because we need another line here. I'm going to right click that 22 and insert. Very important to know how to do that, because spreadsheets are not always set up right the way the first time. So OK, and what are, um, so antiques. But we also need to put here uh, percent of total inventory that are antiques. So I have that, and I'm going to hit Tab. And this is kind of hanging over here. So what do we do? We come up to the B and C, and we double click between it so it best fits that. This is also a question mark. And what's this? This is a rate. We know what that is. So have we gotten all the bits of information? There's that one. We have that one. While the rest are antiques, we have that right there. But we need to find that. And what percent? So there's the question there. So our goal, find rate. And uh, formula, well, we least know one of the formulas for rate that we need to find. So uh, rate or formula equals rate equals part divided by base. All right, now let's go down here. And I want to list these same labels right down here, because we're going to have to solve for this one first. Uh, so watch this. This is a great little trick, equals that. I want you to notice right off the bat, this is a relative cell reference. We talked about this when we were in the intro to this class. Relative, sometimes you want it. Notice right below here, we want this. And right below that, we want that label. But also notice, we need that number here also. So relative to this, this is that many up. If I copy it over here, it's going to be looking not there, but right there. So I'm going to hit Enter. I actually hit Control Enter to keep the cell highlighted. I'm going to point to that. Uh, fill handle when you see that crosshair or angry rabbit, I'll drag it down. But watch this, you can also drag it this way. And see, well, if you click in this and hit F2, sure enough, it's looking there. And we want both of those numbers there. Not only that, but I want this part two right there. Pretty clever. So we don't have to retype all of that right there. Now we can solve for this. All right. Um, how do we do that? All the items just plain junk. Well, we just do plain subtraction, right? Equals that minus that. Not very many antiques, huh? 456. All right, now we need, now we can start solving for our um, percent of 
total inventory that are antiques. I'm going to do this trick again right here. Oh, look, that's a relative cell reference, too. We can just go like this. Boop. All right, and so now we know our formula is part divided by base. So equals, there's the part divided by, and it doesn't matter. Uh, can we click here, or do we have to go to the uh, original source number? No way. Even though this is, even though in cell C24 is a formula looking up there, you can still tell this formula to look there because it'll look there, and then that one will look there. 12.12 uh, decimal, um, and this is our rate. Control one to format. I'm going to go to number tab. Percent. That one is fine. Now let's check it. We have a few different ways to check this. Check uh, number one. We have our rate, so let's try part. Part equals base times rate. And there's our rate times our base. And what do we better get? Better get that 456. Oh, excellent. Check number two. And um, we have our part. So we solve for part right there. So now here we can solve for base. Base equals our associated part divided by our associated rate. Equals our associated part right here divided by our associated rate right there. And that better give us our original uh, 3800. 0. Now watch this. Notice we said associated rate 12%. We'll even put uh, this as rate number two because the 12% of 3,800 is 456. But we can actually do this a third way too. And why don't I insert another row? Right click on the 30, right click, insert. And we'll do our rate number one because we have just, we have a rate for plain old junk too. Rate for plain old junk. Well, we could do that a few different ways. We could just uh, say part one divided by the base. Well, let's do that. Equals part one divided by the base. And that's uh, rate number one. And we could format this. Control one, percentage. Now we could have our second check. We um, with this rate here. So here's part number one. Here's rate number one. So we could solve for base in a second way. Watch this. I'm going to go Control C, and I'm going to say uh, here. This will be part one. This will be rate one. Okay, ready? Equals. Where's our part number one? Right there. Divided by our rate number one, and we better get the same number, 3,800. Now, let's go amend this right here. We want to be as clear, crystal clear with our labels so we can understand what's going on here. Notice we did a rate two and a part two here, so I'm going to put two and two. Now, there's one other thing we can check. We've been checking and triple checking and quadruple checking in this one. But um, you know, ultimately, in your job, if you are in charge of making the spreadsheets, uh, you better make sure they're right. And the more ways you have to check, the better. I want to actually insert a row right here. Click on the 27. Right click Insert. And what could we have checked? This Before we did all these calculations, we should have done this. We should have added the two parts together, because when we add them together, we better get ding, ding, ding the uh, 3800. So I'm going to say add both parts. Now watch this. The keyboard shortcut for AutoSum is Alt equals. Did it get it right? We know we're learning how to use Excel. But Excel does some, some, some things sometimes that get us into trouble. It's trying to be polite. It's trying to guess with the dancing ants. Hey, I think you want to add these. No way, pal. I do not want you to add those. So you can do it a, two, a couple ways. See how it's highlighted? You can then just, because it's highlighted, it's being polite. It's saying, hey, I know I might be wrong. Then you can just take your cursor and click and drag over the right ones. I'm going to click Escape. Here's a second way to do that. Alt equals. You can actually point to the edge 
of your Dancing Ants formatted range and click and drag down. So there's two ways. Wow, so we've checked in how many, I think we did four different checks, so we had quadruple checking. All right, now let's write our answer in words. Now watch this, so as I mentioned before, you sometimes can just go up here. I'm going to actually put it into edit mode, F2, right? And then I'm going to very carefully come up here and highlight all of this and copy, right? Escape, because I don't want to mess up that. We come down here and hit F2 and Control V. So Barbara's Antiquary says that of its 3,800 items in inventory, 3,344 are just plain junk, while the restaurant takes what percent of the total inventory is, oh, well, we can just uh, put the percent of total inventory that are antiques is 12%. Got to get rid of that question mark. Uh, and there we have it. Hit enter. Oops, Excel's talking again. All right, uh, we've talked about the percent formula part base, and we just got done talking about rate. When we come back, we'll talk about rate of change. See you then.